More cars, more crashes, and a heated competition today on the Junkyard Joust. Hi, everybody. I'm Aaron Yonda. You've seen these teams before, but a lot of them have changed their rosters up significantly. You've got Bat Mobility, Worthington Drabsters, Propulsion, the Sunshades, and the Indigo Ice Picks. The Worthington Drabsters are back to see if they can prove that dragsters stand a chance at the joust. Some heavy cars on this team. The former champion Indigo Ice Picks didn't do so hot last season, but they are back with a brand new roster. Look at the agility in some of these cars. Sunshades made it all the way to the finals, but then they kind of lost it. They're back with three returning vehicles and two new ones. Bat Mobility infamously lost all five cars in round one of their qualifier last season. They're back to make sure that doesn't happen again. Propulsion did all right last season, but now they've got a completely new lineup, and this looks promising. Let's head out to the junkyard and joust. We're going to start this off with five alarm for the sunshades. Cookie's been told she can ride on top of it as long as she jumps off. And there she goes, jumping free of the vehicle. Got to keep that ladder clear in case five alarm needs it for some acrobatics. Baby Cookie's best friend, Captain Picard, is going to be going down in the Fright Bike, sponsored by Liz's Wizard Arts and Witchcrafts. Fright Bike gets right under Five Alarm, and it's just enough that Five Alarm can't make a recovery, at least not yet. It'll be interesting to see how this motorcycle does on the track. Wow, that's rough for the Sunshades. Bad start, similar to how they started out the finals. And now we've even got a little bit of a ramp on the track. Looks like the Ice Picks have an answer to that ramp. It's Sonic, sponsored by Farty Marty. Sonic jams into the back of the motorcycle, pushes the ramp off the track. Not interested in that. Picard goes flying, and Five Alarm, oof, doesn't look good. And now Sonic is poised on top of the track. Picard's tiny legs sticking out in the background. Bat Mobility's on the scene, MBK van, sponsored by Woeful Fiber Art. MBK plows through everything on the track. Sonic goes flying, somehow lands sideways and sticks that way. The motorcycle gets flipped over. The ramp breaks off the back, and that motorcycle's now in trouble. Here comes Wild Thing, 48 grams, sponsored by Judy Collins. Wild Thing headbutts the MBK van, but can't get it off the track, and now goes curbside. That van stays solid. Cockney Cab 2 for the Sunshade, sponsored by Sid from Cybertron. Cockney Cab pushes Wild Thing kind of gently off the track. It looks like Wild Thing's going to make it, although he is tipping. Here comes a big, fast car for the Drapsters. Hershey's Funny Car, sponsored by Scooter Roundwell. Hershey's obliterates all the cars on the field, all of them thrown off, and only one survives. Cockney Cab makes an adept recovery. The MBK van cannot recover and flips over, tossed, and Wild Thing gets toppled. MBK almost knocked Sonic upright, but it didn't happen. And normally a tough car to take out, Wild Thing is toast. Here comes Forward Force for the Ice Pick, sponsored by Chome. And with a lot of force, Forward Force takes Hershey's out, flips it right over. Heavy vehicle, too, but takes itself out at the same time. Still on the track, though, so all is not lost. Interesting to note, there's only one vehicle alive on the field right now. Robin for Bat Mobility, sponsored by TJG. Robin collides with Forward Force, and look at this! Forward Force makes a recovery, and Robin just flips over, done! Bounces off that safety rail, which is often a detriment, and Forward Force makes a bounding recovery. Great job off the crates. Robin, not so much. Here comes Purple Passion for Propulsion, sponsored by Dr. Gonzo. Passion punches Fright Bike, and Fright Bike flips over, makes a recovery. We're getting a couple of resurrections from cars that looked like they were going to be out. So this thing is still alive, and now Purple Passion is way back down the track. Right at the bottom of the hill. That could be bad. Corvette Stingray, sponsored by Stump's Tree Farm. A quick bunt and Purple Passion slides off the track to a nice recovery. Meanwhile, Corvette goes curbside and could get crushed by this next car. It's going to be Drag Strip Duel, an undercutter sponsored by Chemical Knight for the Drabsters. 
The dragster cuts under the Corvette. The Corvette makes an incredible flip and recovers off the spoiler of the dragster. And drag strip dual backs down the track a ways. This track has been wiped clean of cars and now they're all hitting the safety rail and bouncing really far back. Very unusual. Rev Rod now for the Ice Pick, sponsored by Brendan Walsh. Rev Rod slots nicely into the track and pushes the dragster down a ways. We're starting to get a little bit of a line of cars. Here comes another heavy one though for Bat Mobility 66 Dodge A100, sponsored by Hey Steve. The van shoves both cars off the track, again clearing the track. Revrod gets tossed into the crates and does not make a recovery. This is a car that is supposed to be able to make these kind of recoveries. Fails miserably. Here comes Gangster Grin for propulsion, sponsored by Ellie's Hop Shop. Gangster Grin slams the Dodge, bounces back. The Dodge stays on the track. That's important. Bat Mobility does not want to get wiped off the face of the planet in round one. Gangster Grin down at the bottom of the hill. Going to take a hit from the Camaro Z28, sponsored by Sloss Automotive Sachet and Buffet. The Camaro knocks Gangster Grin back up to the front and goes about halfway down the track. Just in time for another heavy hit. Firebird Funny Car 70 grams, sponsored by Scooter Roundwell. The Funny Car almost clears the field again. The Camaro gets chucked off to the left. Gangster Grin flipped upside down. Camaro, however, makes a recovery. That's good news for the Sunshades. Funny Car better watch out. Skull Crusher's coming down, sponsored by Ellis Wurtenberger. Skull Crusher gets under the funny car and just unceremoniously dumps it off the track on the way down. Funny car does not make a recovery, lands right next to its teammate, and its teammate actually blocks it from recovering. A little bit of an oopsie right there. Here comes another fairly heavy car, Batman Hot Rod 48 Gram, sponsored by Jedi. Skull Crusher can't handle the pressure, flips over and upside down. The Dodge almost gets pushed over the safety barrier, but isn't quite there. Doing a good job staying alive up at the front right now. Yet another heavy vehicle, Tail Dragger, 62 grams for propulsion. Sponsored by the Miskatonic Automotive Club, Cthulhu Fatagin. Tail Dragger drives rather leisurely into the line of cars, pushes the Dodge up safely and locks it in. Ford Aerostar for the Sunshade, sponsored by Press X Private Parts. The Aerostar goes off the back of the Tail Dragger. Tail Dragger setting up a nice little ramp. Maybe that's why he went so slow. And the Aerostar suffers as a result. Probe Funny Car 75 gram, sponsored by Emo Dingo. Batman gets probed. A little bit of a squish and Batman Hot Rod goes up in the air, flips around upside down and lands next to his teammate. Unfortunately, that's going to count as out unless he turns it around. Next up is Power Rocket, sponsored by Hendrika's Heavy Hauling. Power Rocket gets under that funny car and another elimination for the Worthington Drabsters. Those heavy vehicles are great, but they do not take a hit very well. And now Power Rocket is curbside. Batmobile sponsored by Tim the Bear Neal. The Batmobile slides into the action and Power Rocket, wow, just flips over lamely on its side. So many great recoveries we've seen from this car. I think Power Rocket needs to get his head back in the game. 61 Impala, sponsored by Chorgoth the Infinite Horror. The Impala knocks the Batmobile flying off the back of his teammate. Batmobile is eliminated. That was a nice hit. Good combo there between those two teammates. And that is going to end round one. We've had very few eliminations in the first round in qualifier one and two, but not so this time. 15 cars have been eliminated. All five teams still in it. Looking at the aftermath, Bat Mobility did not get completely wiped out. They have one left. Ice Picks have one left. Worthington Drabsters have two. Propulsion and Sunshades looking pretty good right now with three. Normally, Picard would be getting healed up in the shuttle, but it appears the shuttle is locked and Baby Cookie is trying to find a way in to get Picard the medical help he needs after getting flung off of his motorcycle. Round two begins now, Tail Dragger for Propulsion. Running order is up. Tail Dragger's gonna slot in down at the end. Got a little bit of a ramp thing going there and that seemed to work well last time. We go until there's only three teams left. Sunshades want to get back into the main event. They're sending down the Cockney cab. 
They feel like they had a little bad luck last season and they want to make up for it. Here comes the Fright Bike for the Drabsters. The ramp came off last time and he's going to leave that up on top of the hill. Fright Bike slots into place. Nothing to protect it in the back now. Going to make it kind of vulnerable on this next run. Big hit coming from the Dodge for Batmobility, their only remaining car. The Dodge devastates the Cockney Cab and the Fright Bike. Wow, what a massive elimination that's going to be right there. Cockney Cab, not an easy car to get over. And now the Drabsters are down to one. Indigo Ice Picks, not a good showing in that first round. Forward Force is their only car left. Forward Force biffs into the back of the van and locks it. Purple Passion's up now, a vehicle that's actually purple, unlike some Purple Passions we've seen in the past. Forward Force gets forced up on the side of the track, but other than that, it's a pretty light car and doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Now the Corvette Stingray for the Shades. The Corvette leaps off the back of Purple Passion, goes up in the air all the way down to the crates, tries to make a recovery, but the crates sort of prevent the turn and the natural momentum cannot carry the Corvette over. That's gonna be an elimination for the Sunshades. Drag Strip Duel. Drag Strip tries to knock out Purple Passion, but look at this amazing recovery. Two flips and Purple Passion lands it. Wow. And now Drag Strip is curbside. 61 Impala, 55 grams. The Impala musters a heavy hit, but can't get Drag Strip Duel off the track. I keep wanting to say Drag Strip Drool. Luckily, I haven't done that yet. Camaro Z28. The Camaro finishes pushing off Drag Strip Duel, and that is going to already end the round. We've already cycled through all the cars that remain. Three eliminations in this round. We're down to seven cars, but somehow we still have five teams in the match. Taking a look at the aftermath, and look at this. Everybody down to one car except for Purpulsion, who remains at three. They are dominating this match. It's anybody's game right now. Round three coming up. Tail Dragger going to start us off for Propulsion. The fate of four teams hangs in the balance right now. Except for Propulsion, if anyone is eliminated, that team is out and has no chance to make it to the main event. Drag Strip Duel. Drag Strip tries to get under the back of Tail Dragger. Can't do it. Tosses it up in the air a little bit, but can't get under. Will that come back to haunt it? Forward Force. Forward Force slots in, can't get any action. We got three cars locked in. Let's see if the Camaro can make anything happen. The Camaro knocks Forward Force off. Forward Force almost tips, goes sideways, and there's a threat. But then it lands back on all four tires. Lucky day for the Ice Picks. Here comes a big hit from the Dodge. The Dodge powers through, two vehicles on the track. The Camaro is tossed up in the air. Drag strip duel turned over sideways. The Camaro went pretty high all the way up to level six on the height bar. Absolute annihilation, and right there, that Dodge may have just cinched its chances to make it into the main event for Bat Mobility with two teams being eliminated if they stay sideways. Purple Passion. Purple Passion gets nothing going. 26 grams, not a very heavy vehicle, so it's just going to lock it in. And now there's just one propulsion car to come back down. If it's careful here, then nothing's going to change. Impala. The Impala doesn't move anybody off the track. The van barely stays alive. Wow, that was so close. But Bat Mobility are going to stay in this match improbably. And with that hit, round three ends, and the quickest qualifier of the season so far is over. Some good competitors on all these teams, but the Drabsters and the Sunshades have been eliminated. Propulsion looked great in this match, and they're one to keep an eye on. Ice Picks should have done better, but they still stayed alive. Speaking of alive, Jordy LaForge is still alive. Unfortunately, he is stuck under a tractor with Troy trying to help get him out. And that explains why they can't get Picard into the shuttle. Although that's not stopping Cookie from trying. Well, hopefully they'll get all this sorted out in time for the next episode. In the meantime, here are your three teams that are moving on to the main event. So my imagination is that purple passion starting to turn a little blue in the front. Huh, strange. 
Here's a quick look at what's coming up next on Junkyard Joust. It's the Junkyard Joust Custom Tournament. And as you can see, yeah, it's going to be incredible. It's definitely going to be like nothing we've ever seen before on the Junkyard Joust. Thank you to all my patrons that make this show possible, and we'll see you next time on Junkyard Joust.